This playthrough is rated T for T. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Follow me back here with another episode of 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim. In the last episode, we finally finished the prologue stuff, and now we've been opened up to the to the main game itself. So we can either, you know, do more destruction missions or do remembrance. And in this case, since I did mainly do the destruction stuff, we're going to go back to the plot and see how we got back to the point where we're fighting the aliens and stuff like that. So uh, let's start off with the... The main man is self Juro and see where his story takes him yeah. next. Yes, we've already seen this. We know how we know how you know male protagonist you are. After school, Sakura High School, class one B. Flowchart. Open the flowchart with the uh, square to view the protagonist's story paths. We'll resume a story from events with blue checkpoints. So I guess I just play um, till so we already did his prologue, so we don't have to do anything with that. Oh, there's different Huh, so there actually are different, like, ways to go about that. And I guess you can only have, like, a certain... Well, I assume at the end, because we all still have to end up at the the point in the future where the destruction path is going on, so... I wonder what the, what's the point of seeing all these different variations on it. Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, let's see. So we don't we have one that I don't know of. Eavesdrop on Sawatari and Conversation. Ingaru of Shiba in the classroom or the hallway. I see. Hmm. Well, I'll have, to, I'll have to play the. I'll have to do recordings for these by ear. Like, I might just do the typical, like, 30 to 40 minute recording until I feel like it's at an appropriate spot, but we'll, we'll kind of play till then. Bad news, Juro. Amiguchi's gone missing again. Eddie's at the cafeteria. Get ready to head over. Are you thinking of crashing his place again? It's mommy time. Why not? Oh, you're such an aggressive dude, dude. Oh yeah, almost forgot. I never finished reading this. Well then. What's this? Nerd bag. Oh, I forgot I had a flyer in there. One for the Daimos movie. The day movie. Uh, okay. Let's see, and then I guess there is some minor exploration. It seems like so. Okay. Well, let's look all over info again. Come to think of it, I saw Shibakun in a dream the other day. A pretty creepy one. Something about an android. An android, you say? She always seems to be sleeping. It's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. Well, I mean, she is a cute girl, and you're, what, 16, 17, or whatever? I assume you're 17 for the purposes of kind of being in the middle of this, but eh. she always seems to be Is sleeping, the same? and then she shows up. I can't help. Okay. Them. Anyway, that one video. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. I'm just kind of going through these again since it, it, it was a couple episodes since we last did this stuff. Oniguchi Kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. Later. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. Hmm. I do like the fact that, that sometimes stuff is going on while you're just uh, thinking to yourself. A sci-fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. The first in what would become a long-running series. Hmm. Okay, so nothing really new from there. Or at least not that I recall. So let's just kind of play by ear and then, then find the other paths as it comes down to it. Uh, oh, can we ask him about all this stuff, or...? Hey, about Fuyasaka-san. I notice she always leaves during break time. Yeah? What about it? I'm just wondering where she goes all the time. Judging from what the other girls have been saying, she runs off to the nurse's office to take a nap. She's sleeping? What? You wanna follow her to bed? <laughs> Come on, quit it. Uh, that one girl's not gonna like. I always forgot. There's so many characters, and I know they're all distinguishing, but sometimes remembering their names without like really going over it with a fine tooth comb, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not immediately remember. You know, that one girl from the future who liked him, so she's gotta be kind of jelly. Okay, it's not the one you were looking for, but <laughs> I found a little something else you've been wanting to see. You know, that hardcore foreign movie. Don't make it sound so creepy. It's just a sci-fi flick. I also taped the next episode of that drama series. 
the one where the alien runs away to Earth. Hmm. Is that the one where he teleports from the UFO to the bridge? Uh, oh, you've seen it already? I don't really remember watching it, but... I don't know. Maybe I did. Uh, back in the day where you had to record everything, because back in the day, depending on how old it was, there wasn't... It wasn't like now where a lot of TV and shows could be found eventually or by looking or whatever. Back in the day, if you missed a show, you probably weren't going to see it again. Not for a long, long time, you know. Because um, certain shows weren't uh, serialized as often and other such things. So people would record stuff on... That's when VHS recording became popular so people could watch it whenever they wanted. And this was before the advent of, like, you know, TiVo and other such things. And now that even is a old old news you know it's kind of weird just seeing stuff from the 80s you know I, I'm, a, I'm an 80s kid myself so kind of trying to remember a lot of this stuff we can't go to his place every single day what if we're annoying him then let him be annoyed I still get to play his games and he probably enjoys you guys hanging out maybe I don't know. hey remember the original Dimos movie I mentioned mighty kaiju Dimos they're showing it at the theater right now. Huh? Wanna go see it? Isn't that the crappy old theater by Tsuji Station? I'd rather rent it on video. Then we can watch it on Amiguchi's big TV. Cheaper, too. Interesting enough, back in the day before the advent of like video and stuff like that, movie theaters, uh, movies were, the same, uh, were interesting because if you missed a movie in a movie theater, you never see it again. And that was way back. That was like, you know, everything from like the 20s till I think VHS or tapes like that didn't really, were becoming more of a thing in like, I think the 70s. I could be wrong though. I don't know the history of the advent of recorded media, but. In that movie, an alien's UFO breaks down. So he runs away to take refuge on Earth. There's a famous scene where he teleports onto a bridge. Oh, the, is that, is that the ET one or? I don't know, they could be making a reference. There is quite a bit of sci-fi, but anyway. Or not. Yeah, you too. While I was taping that show, I remembered something else. I totally forgot last week. They were airing UFO Wars on TV. I can't believe I missed it. they getting all this information now. Released in 1977, this was the first in a hit series from the United States. It's a dramatic sci-fi adventure taking place in a galaxy far, far away. Its popularity holds strong no matter how much time passes. Ah, Star Wars. <laughs> I had to think about that one for a second. I actually taped UFO Wars myself. Want to borrow it? Oh, I'm in luck! The quality's not that great, though. I recorded it in EP mode. Jeez, get your hands on some better tapes. You go do a guy a favor, and he says do better. Sounds like a modern kid, don't you think? Anyway, I got nothing else going on. Just got Miyuki and Abba's new album on tape. But I don't have a cassette player. Then why'd you buy it? I wonder if that's an actual, like, singer. I, I don't know anything about Japanese, like, singers or song songwriters or stuff like that, so. Don't just leave me here. Oh, he was chasing after me? Okay. You need, you need to get your own hobbies, dude. Oh, no, not yet. Let me see if there's... Okay, so there's a little bit more exploration in the actual Let's protagonist storyline. If we're too slow, we'll lose him. I guess because of the flow chart situation there, so... And then we can obviously, if we can hit a certain point, we can... If we're going to the cafeteria, that's the long way around. What, well, you don't like exercising? Stairway. Fine. But yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything in this in this floor area, so let's go to the cafeteria then. Not here either, huh? Well, crap. So much for gaming today. Hey, our favorite, uh, favorite sporty girl, Natsuno, is here. Huh? Oh, Juro-kun! Hi, Minami-san. Ah. Well, he's like, hey, and then we don't talk to her. It's like, well, that was weird. That was awkward. Think the girls might know where he is? 
Maybe they've seen him somewhere. I know you were eavesdropping earlier. You know, Kisaragi and the others. Did they mention him? Uh, I don't know. Well, I was th I was thinking of like I was thinking in my thought bubbles. You know, I wasn't paying attention. Uh. What's up? Well, uh, you know, about that guy. I'm just wondering how long he's planning to stay over. Ah, right. About that. Um, he's got a lot going on, you know. If you could let him stay a bit longer, I'd appreciate it. You're the best. Oh, would you look at the time? I've got to go. Let's talk later, okay? What are they talking? What are they talking about? It says that guy. Uh, I'm not sure who they're talking about. Are they talking about an animal or are they talking about that B BJ creature? Nah. I feel like this is too early for that part to kick in, so that was weird. Who's that chick? Inami-san, my neighbor. My grandma's pretty close with her family. You're looking pretty close yourself. What are you trying to <laughs> imply? This is a serious issue at home. I was supposed to have this free time to myself. Ah, so much for that. Oh, so it's something like that. So it has nothing to do with her. Like, the robot or anything like that. I was overthinking things. And then we can recall it? Oh. Well, might as well. I don't think there's anything I can do, right? Guess we're out of options. Let's just go home. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a option to leave, so... So I guess I do have to recall that. Okay. Let's recall our issues at home. Great. Let's find out what that is. Ever since that day, my life's been turned upside down. This is all about a story about a man named Ted, who, or Juro, who was once cut. I uh, oh, never mind. One evening, probably household dinner table. Uh huh? Uh, guess I fell asleep. Mmm. Smells good. Oh, they left. Oh, the food apparently stays hot for quite a while. Lucky us. Oh. You're up. I assume this is our adopted mother ready. or sister. Could you get the chopsticks? Because right, because since he's from another time or whatever, he's obviously not their actual kid. I don't know how they set this up though. But anyway. I guess turn off the TV before anything. I fell asleep with the TV on. The most prominent solution: grabbing chopsticks, like Mia and my Miyagi-san or Daniel. Thanks. Go ahead and place them at the table. We've got chopsticks for two. She probably didn't realize it, but these are matching chopsticks, like for a married couple. That only makes me feel even more awkward. Unless this is a memory from his time in 20... Was it 2024 or whatever? Hmm. That looks amazing. I usually just eat out or pick up pastries on my way home. Haven't had a home-cooked meal in quite a while. No, this can't be from that other time period because he said he's recalling what, what how his situation became as it is time to eat there we go <laughs> it's like we're newlyweds or something okay no i'm not following that train of thought i need to come up with a way to kick her out so she's not Dinner's ready shall we start oh no it is megumi i thought it looked like her but for some reason i I don't know why. I thought she maybe was someone else. Like, they used a similar design for someone else. So, why? I mean, we know why she's hanging out there, but Jiro's like, why is she hanging out here? This is weird. You have bags under your eyes. It's because you stay up late watching movies every night. You need to get to bed early. We're the same age. Stop acting like you're my mom. Besides, I can't fall asleep even if I wanted to. Oh? Why not? Well, because you're here. Me? Uh, hmm. 
But he's just embarrassed. He is a young boy. Like, young boys think about ladies, but when they... Unless you're, like, super suave or, like, used to it, you're still, like... You, you're still, like... They seem to be other... Girls seem to be otherworldly creatures until you realize they're just as human and they burp or, or make noises as much as we do. And then you're like, oh, they're not so bad. Or they're not so different, you and I. Have I done something wrong? Come on. We're a boy and a girl alone together. Puberty exists. Uh, are you trying to torture me? Well, and, uh, usually more Japanese societies, like, uh, it's a bit different, like, when it comes to that, you know? Well, I guess you could still placate that in any, any group or whatever, but anyway. Hey, uh, we really shouldn't be living together like this. Are you afraid of someone finding out? Well, that's part of it. Anyway, I want you out of here by next month. If you say so. Someone's here. Hide. Jeez. I kind of feel bad for Megumi because she knows who Juro was like before he lost his memory. And now, so I guess what happened is that the the nurse set it up that she would take care. Of, wait, no, that. Hmm. Maybe she kind of forced her way into the situation to look after him. We'll probably find out during the Megumi path, like more about that. Juro Kun. Are you home? Minami-san. Couldn't you have knocked first? Come on. Your Granny Tamao and I are best buds. We're neighbors. Think I don't know my way around the place? Anyway, I've got a favor to ask. Oh, good. Well, at least you're... You're not going to torture me by living here, so... No, wait. I... Nah, never mind. Oh, my God. Juro-kun... I didn't know you cooked. <laughs> so, uh, what's this favor you need? I just realized they're not wearing shoes, but because in Japan you take off your shoes before you go inside the house, which kind of makes sense. You don't want to track in unnecessary dirt and all this other stuff. And I just realized she's in her socks, too. Okay, I don't know why I'm walking around. Most of these areas are pretty straightforward for the most part. The favor is... Oh, Minami-san, I didn't know you lived so close. Did you really need to come out? You're Yakushiti-san, our classmate? Wait, no way, are you two? Do you need something from him? Uh, why did she come out? Didn't he tell her to stay behind? Eh, to probably to try to protect him or something. It's not what it looks like. This is just... You know... Natsuno-san? Oh, come on in. Pardon my interruption. <sighs> so this house is still standing. Who are you? My name is Keitaro Miura. So, um, it's kind of complicated, but yeah. I need you to let him stay over for a few days. What? I understand you're Tamao-san's grandson. How do you know Minami-san? Come on, I know you have a spare room. Just let him stay until your granny's back. In exchange, I won't tell anyone you're living with a girl. That's not... The details don't matter. Just let him stay, alright? Thanks, see ya! But threatening to tell someone you're with a girl... I know, I know it's different in Japan when it comes to certain placades and stuff like that. Like, as an American, if someone t heard stories about you staying with a girl, you're like, well, hell yeah, you get a lot of street cred, but in Japan, apparently, that's a risky business, you know, so. Anyway, Miri, are you here to cause me trouble? Pardon me. I know Natsuno-san's intentions are good, but... Are you hungry? Why don't you join us for dinner? <sighs> there goes my simple high school life. Things just keep getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Okay, so we got the... Um, oh, won't well, let me go back and look. So we got the... Um, oops. 
So we got the go to the cafeteria. So issues at home. So if we go to the cafeteria, so I guess at some point we could have gone to, let's see, what's our time at? I could keep going. Um, so we could have just left. Hmm. I assumed I had to, maybe if I had walked around a bit further, I could check it. So, okay, so by doing this, we get the freeloaders story arc or a little plot line or whatever. Jura Krabe's living situation Megumi um, is discovered. So, wait, why is she living with him? Maybe, like I said, maybe... Oh, sorry, it's not Megumi, it's Megami, or whatever. Maybe her storyline will explain that a bit further, but... Okay, so... I thought it said I could... Hold on. I thought it said I could, um... Go back at certain points. Maybe I have to click on it first before I do that. Mm -hmm. Switch to that. Okay, so... Oh, it just takes us... Back there. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so let's just go. Let's go back to the cafeteria again, Bad news, so Jiro. we can. So this is the whole point Let of the. Let me guess, Amiguchi Kun's not there. He's probably at the cafeteria. Thanks for making my life easier, man. Cool. Let's grab our stuff and head over. Oh, it skips it. So it, the game knows we're going to be playing this multiple times, so oh, it knows yeah. to. Uh... Minami-san suddenly showed up at my here. house. And then brought over Miura-kun out of nowhere. As if I didn't have enough problems with Yakushiji around. I always dreamed of living on my own. So much for that. Sorry, sorry, teenager boy. You're not going to get those. E oh, wait. Oops. Huh, so it's just... So, so does he know? I'm not sure if I'm understanding like this. Is this just another day? Or is this... Uh, he already knows about... Well, then again, the issue is uh, was a concern. He was recalling a previous situation, so never mind. I, I might be over. What are the rest of these are the same? It's popular. It might be. In that movie, but yeah, then so he says, oh, but then at the beginning he says, oh, he might be at the uh, cafeteria, and he didn't say that before, so. I think a lot of these are going to be the same, so I can kind of skip these. So, in this case, instead of recalling, since we don't need to do that, let's just go to the cafeteria and leave. And see where that takes us story-wise. That's probably why the game has a speed-up function, because it realizes you're going to probably be end up playing some of these uh, sections multiple times to get the different paths, just to see where you unlock different story beats and whatnot. So, there's supposed to be a oh, okay, it's R1. Well, actually, I have to be careful. If I... Well, no, I think I have the thing where. Oh, and uh, Natsuno's not here this time. I guess she's only there to. Looks like they're closed for the day. Maybe I'll just go home. I think I have an option where it doesn't skip over. Uh, it only skips red dialogue or whatever. Let me see. Uh, uh, intro. Stop on unread. Yeah, if you haven't unread it, then it, it would stop the speed up function. Yeah, so it was only not to know. It was so I guess maybe there's certain paths you have to play first. There might even be an order to most of this. So, if that's the case, it makes it a lot options. easier. Let's just go home. Yeah, so it's not to know it's not here. We don't have to have that conversation. So, now we get the other pathway. Oh, and it just goes to be continued. Uh, okay. So, now it just says daily life. So, I don't... Let's see. Eavesdrop on... Sawatari and the others. Kind of, well, I kind of did that, but I guess maybe I didn't listen. Maybe I didn't focus specifically on that or something like that. Yeah, that takes me back here. So. Usami-chan, would you like to get crepes on our way home? I'd love to, but I've kind of got somewhere to be. I think I already heard this before, but I guess we'll. Oh. Do you need something? Uh, not really. Sorry. Just got Miyuki and Abba's new album on tape, but I don't have a cassette. I already heard that. So. Then why'd you buy it? Oh yeah, wasn't there a thing about stack of papers? Uh, get rid of Shiba in the classroom or the hallway. Shiba. Okay. The papers. Miss Morimura forgot them again. Okay, was it? I know we've considered these before, but oh, we just now have it in our inventory. 
Can we still talk? Can we interact with the girls? No. Okay, so let's get rid of him. Are you okay? Sorry, Sheila Kurf. I have to drop off these papers. But you're just fine, right? Again? Hey. Please. I'm worried well, just meet me at the front gate when you're done. In the meantime, I'll go hunt down Amiguchi. Bye-bye, guy who, like, gets rid of my memory every once in a while. Okay, so now that we've done that... Oh, now there's multiple little pathways afterwards. Okay, so... I guess we need to make sh wait till she... Okay, that's a little creepy. If you're looking for him, I just saw him by the vending machines. The break area? Yeah. Now we know about the break area. Crap. I gotta get going. I guess we wouldn't have heard the story if we didn't get rid of uh, Shiva. I head out too. See you, Miwa chan Later. Bye. Can we interact with her yet, or maybe we have to do something specific? Oh, okay, now we're. Now we have our attention. Something up? You're staring. Well, maybe not here. Let's go out to the hall. Okay. Well, let me consider this break area first, just to see what it says. There are drink vending machines at the break area. It's located at the corner of the schoolyard. If what Fuyusaka-san said was right, we should be able to find Amiguchi-kun there. Now that, now that I have that, if I replay through the story, it probably, yep, see, now we have a new pathway now that we know that. So I'm, I'm kind of wondering if this is all just within the same, if it's the same day or if it's repeated, like Shiba makes you forget or something like that, or if it's just the school week in general and we're just doing something on a different day. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm just more curious. But anyway, we're, uh, we're doing the Fuyasaka thing, so let's talk to her. Oh, okay. Oh, I have to take my bag. Right. Can't leave without my bag. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sense of this from a timeline perspective. What's That's all. Where'd she go? There she is. Kurabikun, over here. Hello. What's going on, Fuyusaka-san? Well, um, you know that dream you were telling me about? The truth is, it's real. It actually happened. What do you mean? What do you mean? You die, for, you die in the game? You die for reals? No, uh, go on. What was that dream about again? Uh, you don't remember? You just mentioned it again last week. You know, the one about the shootout? Shootout? Something about taking refuge in a harbor. But you ended up getting shot and captured. I was the only one who managed to escape. Oh, yeah. In order to prevent killer robots from being invented, a factory got blown up, right? You remember now? I didn't know you were into action movies. That's the plot of Exterminator 2, right? <laughs> I almost forgot. <sighs> oh, I was about to say, I was about to say it's Terminator 2, or Terminator, but they... I mean, you could pretty much infer it, but... But anyway... So you don't remember after all? Of course I do. That movie is a masterpiece. I'm not talking about a movie. This is something that actually happened. And it wasn't just a dream either. <sighs> Wait, 1985? Did the Terminator 2, Terminator 2 didn't come out in 85? I thought it was like 89. Hold on a second. Because this, this is supposed to take place in 1985, right? Okay, so maybe I'm misremembering my two. Let me check that. That <sighs> nah, shows the. Yeah, uh, no, it's 1991. Why are they talking about Terminator 2 so early? This is. Okay, so obviously, this is. Obviously, this game's sci fi, so it's taking different elements out of the way. I just find it weird they mentioned that even though this is 1985 and the movie didn't come out until 1991. But okay then. Uh, oh, now we can ask her all these questions now. Or a couple of questions anyway. Does that mean UFO Wars is real too? There is a UFO. It's beneath us. Oh. 
No way. It's just like the movie, isn't it? We're going to ride that UFO and fight off enemies. No. That's what the Sentinels are for. Sentinels? Giant robots. They were created to defeat the Kaiju. <sighs> okay, now you're being weird, lady. <laughs> giant robots. Although they say chicks dig giant robots. What about this one? Is it real too? If the Dymo showed up in real life? I don't know. I think it'd be pretty awesome. Well, lucky you. You'll be seeing plenty of them soon. Huh? Dymos is the general name for them. But there are many different types. Some as big as a truck. Some bigger than a whole building. Some bigger than bread box. That series is really cool. It featured all kinds of different kaiju. Oh, and I think he's mentioned that probably, probably uh, Godzilla and or I'm trying to think about. There's a couple of different franchises with big giant monsters in them. There's like Godzilla, and then there's the one with the giant turtle, but I don't recall his name off the top of my head. And then there's like the ones based off humans. Um, oh, what was his name? Crap, I'm not as familiar with God, the Godzilla franchise as other people are. So, if you love movies that much, you should check out this drama series. What's it about? It's an episodic show where the story plays out in different ways each time. In this one, an alien seeks refuge on Earth. There's a famous scene where he teleports onto a bridge. You've never seen it before? That was a real event. It took place on Sumire Bridge in the year 2089. Now that you mention it, that scene did look like it was shot at Sumire Bridge. I was the only one there. You never made it, Kurabe-kun. No, that's not true. I was there. You and I were transmitted together. Wait, what? When did Iori get a hold of this information before Juro did? Well, obviously, it's better explained on his path, I assume. I assume there's nothing else to talk to her about because there's no highlight on it. You're so interesting, Fuyusaka-san. Don't you already know all this? You're the one who told me about it. Remember when we were cleaning up the science room? You said you saw a shootout from the future in your dreams. Cleaning up the science room. The science room, that's something to think about. Oh, and then we recall it, so is that 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 owned storyline? Oh, and it tells you the keys to unlock to get that is by showing her all three things, which you can only get the... I think you have to pick up the pamphlet to get the mighty kaiju demo so i don't know what you would do if you didn't have that i guess you'd have to just get it to unlock it or quit the i don't know if you, i don't think you can quit in the middle of the story can you oh no there's an end of adventure so you could leave if for some reason you got stuck which this game doesn't seem like one of those things that that's, that's easy to forget you know but uh anyway let's recall it now that i think about it I've handed you the key. Be sure not to misplace it. Renya Goto, second year. Popular with all the ladies. <laughs> the snob. Oh, good. When you're done cleaning, be sure to lock up. Then return the key to Miss Morimura. Understood? Yes. Then if you'll excuse me. Sorry for the trouble. Goto's another one of those characters that's supposed to be a teenager, yet you could tell okay, he's like a 20-plus-year-old man. Let's get this over with. I'll wash the equipment over there. Could you put the beakers back on the shelf? Actually, the guy who voices Goda sounds like he should be at least be his, in his 30s. I could be wrong, though. I'm hungry, man. Cleaning duty sucks ass. shiba -kun. Stop complaining and get to work. Did you say something? You were mumbling. Speak clearly, please. Just... It's Saturday. Kind of sucks to be doing cleaning duty. Rules are rules. Just deal with it, okay? Hmm. Uh, I feel like there's too much modern terminology, though, in these conversations, like sucks ass and stuff like that. I feel like that's not an 80s dialogue. That's more modern, ter uh, like, um, translation than anything. But whatever. Cleaning is just so boring. 
Do we have anything to actually consider here? Oh, Gota. Or Gota. Gota senpai is so mature. It's hard to believe he's just a high schooler like me. Well, he's not. He's from a different time period. But he, we don't, we don't know that yet. Where should I put this? Beakers go in the big cabinet in the back. Oh, thanks for that. I know. Beakers. Yay! We did a thing. I guess it goes in here. If we ever have any trouble with things, just talk to Iori chan. She knows what's up. Okay, we're just gonna clean up here. Actually, is there a different choice to Benny? No, nah, it's pretty straightforward, so. This one too. We'll talk to her after we put everything back. That's all of them. Oh she but no, I need to talk to you about things. No. Finish with the beakers? All that's left now is sweeping up. <sighs> what is it? Oh, now I can't ask her anything. What's gotten into you? Is there something on my face? Uh, sorry. I was just thinking about the woman from my dream last night. I think it was you, Fuyusaka-san. Me? In your dream? You were dressed in all black. Strong, commanding, and honestly, pretty attractive. Uh, you're just talking about the dream, right? What happened in it? It's kind of embarrassing to talk about. The shadow. So what What could we have talked? I bet if, uh, because you could, there was a triangle on top of her head when she was standing there. It was probably asking about Gota or something like that. No, you can't even. Hmm. Then what, what would the, ah, never mind. I'm thinking, of, oh, you can't even consider it. So, all right. The apocalypse was coming. To prevent it, we had to go back in time and blow up some sort of facility. But that got us in some trouble. Thanks to the bombing, the cops came after us. It came down to a shootout, and the two of us got separated. Oh, so I was a criminal. Well, kind of. It was a just cause. Uh-huh. Well, that does sound exciting. I'm curious to hear how it ends. Oh, yeah? I can keep going. Megami Chan's not gonna like all this. No. Were you shot? Show me. It's nothing. I had a misstep too. I failed to kill one of the researchers. The deed is done though. The entire facility's been destroyed. We did good. The interstellar development project was sent back to square one. Do you think we've changed the future? Sure hope so. If not, then we'll have killed all those innocents for nothing. I'd like to believe they haven't died in vain. <laughs> A patrol boat. They're onto us. I'll handle this. You go on ahead. This wasn't part of the plan. I can barely walk. So what, you want me to abandon you here? You just need to make it through today. Remember. Just go. Because that looked like that was Miss Mori Murray, uh, Mor Mori Mura or whatever. So I wonder if that's who Iori becomes in the future. So Miss Mori Murray is just Iori from a different reality that had to deal with like the Deimos or Deimos that act like Terminators or whatever. So there's a lot of, I, I, I can see a lot of stuff slowly kind of uh, slipping in the cracks and uh, oh, there's even, so I guess now we can finally click on all these. So now we got some new, uh, oh, there's like new data if you check on a character. Oh, okay. So every time like certain events occur, you get new information when it's highlighted by blue or something that means new data has been added to the uh, to the dial. In this case, we know of Granny Tomoe or whatever. Interesting. Oh, and there was others, but I it that have been added. So it tells you like what you've remembered this whole time. So 
See, I don't know how I want to, like I said, I don't know how I want to, how much have we learned from him? 33%. So it looks like these, these will continue on further. So I guess I will just stick to like, I, the original idea was to maybe, if, it, if the game was going to stick to like, kind of like the prologue where it just had a set, a, a set of area, then I could do that and then do like a battle sequence, but it feels like it's going to be different. So I'm going to have to figure out how I want to like do these episodes, like maybe finish like a section in the future, no matter what the time is, just to kind of make it more complete. I think what I'll do in the next episode is I'll finish off whatever Jiro's got, at least to a point, uh, maybe a good break-off point, and then do, like, maybe another destruction path or whatever. Because I think I want to keep with certain characters' lines and their, what, how they're doing things, and so I don't confuse the situation too much. Um, so, yeah, I, I, so far, the I think the... You know where the story is going for the most part, but it is interesting to see all, all the in-between situations, like all the characters getting to that point, to the destruction point, and how they learn about it. So, anyway, on the next episode of 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim, or Aegis, whatever, we'll find out more about Juro and his little... Oops, I didn't okay. mean to actually click that. Um, Juro's little story there, and then whatever, the more that we learn to tie in, and then we'll fight some battles. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you that next time. Juro. Let me guess. Amiguchi-kun's not there. He's probably at the cafeteria.